PSVR 2 reportedly will include 4K display, eye tracking, and happy feedback. Uh, this information comes to us from Jordan Oleman at IGN.com. <laughs> uh, website, the website UploadVR.com cites multiple reliable reliable sources on the features of the upcoming PSVR 2, saying that PSVR 2 will reportedly include a 4K display, eye tracking, <laughs> haptic feedback. Well, haptic feedback, is it going to be in the controllers or is it going to be in the headset? Is your head going to be rumbling? I... That <laughs> seems kind of dangerous to me. <laughs> <It's insane. laughs> if I... <laughs> the whole head starts vibrating. Hey, just... Yeah, hey, see. just... Hey, that's, just just sling the thing around your neck. It's another massager. You know? That oh. sounds even more dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> and there's more, according to the newly published report. Uh, the report suggests <laughs> the support uh, the report suggests that the new revision of the headset could feature four thousand by two thousand pix two thousand forty pixels. Don't ask me to break it down in resolution. I'm not that good at math anymore. <laughs> chop chop. Break it down. <laughs> uh, gaze tracking and lens separa separation adjustment detail. I guess that's for people like me who have astigmatism because my eyeballs the mm -hmm. bug out thing, which is why VR isn't always the best thing for me. Um, it's, it's, it's a feature that can be seen on the Valve Index headset. I need to look that up. I didn't, I, I didn't realize that was a thing just yet. I thought that was something new and coming. Okay. Eye tracking within the headset will allow for uh, foveated rendering. Uh, a technique that allows VR experiences to reduce the quality of rendering in players' peripheral vision, meaning meaning what you actually focus on right there in front of you versus what's around there. Uh, you'll actually see more clearly uh, what's on what's right in front of you, and everything else will be obscured, kind of, um, compared to how VR is now, where everything is crystal clear, you know, and you're in your full axis of view. So that's, yeah. I know that was really bad tech talk for me. Like, I, I'm usually much better at my tech talk. <laughs> but we're talking biology here, so you know, biology and technology are two different things. <laughs> uh, essentially, uh, go ahead. I need to get. I need to catch uh, my breath. <laughs> uh, I was going to say, anytime <laughs> I laugh, every time I see anything to do with eye tracking, because I'm reminded of one of my favorite videos of, of all time, where this British guy does an eye tracking challenge. Uh, and he like pumps himself up for like 45 seconds, 55 seconds. And it's all about like not looking at girls' boobs on the video. <laughs> like, you'll see where like his eyes go. And he's like, I'm not going to look. I will do this for all men that we can see women for who they really are <laughs> and not look at boobs. And instantly, as soon as he starts the challenge, he just does, like immediately <laughs> fails. <laughs> immediately fails. <laughs> One of my favorite videos. I'll put that in the chat if I can find it. <laughs> wow. Another another feature mentioned in the report <laughs> is haptic feedback, uh, which the report suggests could be implemented via the motor in the headset. See, guys, you, you thought I was being a quack when I said that just now. <laughs> and we <Wow>. compliment that. <laughs> Compliment the headsets, new. See, I could be, I could be making these devices for Sony. I need a job. <laughs> I'll, I'll basically make it feel like your skull's being drilled into with this PSVR headset. Wow, oh, jeez, that sounds painful. An onboard camera would track the position of the controllers, reducing the amount of peripherals needed to make the headset work. That's that's interesting. Another small note mentioned in the report is that the headset will reportedly connect to the PS5 via a, a single USB Type-C cable, which is kind of funny because the uh, PS5 has a USB port, a USB-C port. USB-C. I, I, I don't know why I got tongue-tied there. I know I said it correct both times. <laughs> uh. Sony has been contacted for comment on the report, but it doesn't. But it doesn't appear that anything's come directly from the company stating as a, as what's going on as of yet. Uh, PSVR's next gen headset was confirmed this past February, with Sony announcing that the device would not be launching this year. We're looking at a tentative 2022 release date, probably coming right around the time that we get slammed in the summer next year when all those other crazy titles come out, like the Police Star Protocol, for example, which. They're taking my money day one. As soon as pre-orders go up, I'm, I'm slamming it down. <laughs> uh, question for you guys. While PSVR 2 seems to be more and more of a reality, 
for Sony and PS5, do we think these features will be a possibility for the per or peripheral? Because remember, this is all reportedly. Do we think all this, do you think there's a chance we're going to see, let's say 75% of it? Do you, is there a possibility? I mean, there's always a yeah i mean there's always a possibility right and i don't know i think maybe there were some things with with covid that may have changed some plans but i think we could see this stuff right that makes sense mm -hmm. i i think we i think we could see most of it at least yeah which which one sounds more most the most far-fetched which which one in your opinion? Um, I I honestly feel like it might be the eye tracking thing. If in, in all seriousness, eye tracking on that, I feel like if the the price point for most VR headsets is between two and three hundred dollars, but I feel like putting eye tracking implementation into it, that's going to probably raise the price by another hundred hundred fifty dollars. Yeah, I, I don't mm -hmm. see the reason why you would need it either. Like, yeah. I, I well, mean, I mean, doesn't I mean, the camera do that for you? I mean, there's some. Right. Well, well, actually, no. The, the The benefit of this PSVR is, suppo is supposedly you won't need a camera at all. That's the that's the main that's the main feature they touted when they announced uh, when they announced it. Yeah. Hmm. Well, maybe that's that's how they're getting around it. I mean, that'd be pretty cool because I definitely that's the one thing. Like, I bought a PSVR mm -hmm. and, and I did sell it because I didn't use it. It's not because I didn't enjoy it. It was just so much work it was right, such a yeah. big there's wires everywhere i didn't like it strung around the house which i wasn't in the house at this time but i got in my small room that i was in when i was living with my roommate like i didn't like having it everywhere i didn't like having to keep the dust off of it all the time and like it's just a chore and so if they can find a way to make it smaller with like no camera and this is how they do it um i like to hope that they're really gonna do like uh we were talking about with like the astigmatism we're on like mm -hmm. i hope that's really something they work on but yeah. that's like one of those things like are they really going to do it just because is that is that going to be worth worth it in the end for all pe people like exactly you know at the end of the day they're mm -hmm. just trying to sell to the biggest amount of people yeah know? but i mean so. the astigmatism is really what ruined like the whole 3d movie craze for me it also and, and it does ruin the vr experience uh for me as well because I mean, I mean, people have astigmatism. Their their eyes are always adjusting focus. It's not like it's not like how a normal person like they they focus based on what's close to them and what's far away. Our eyes are always focusing on stuff. Like I mean, it, it's it's crazy. And you know, like most most people with astigmatism also have that sensation where it's like you got a little brown, like little black or dark spots, you know, in your vision and stuff like that. Yeah. So VR is not the best experience for me. And sure as hell, like. The three D the three D craze that was going on back in the early PS three and Xbox Xbox uh Xbox three sixty phase was not was not fun for me either. So yeah, I mean yeah. I'll keep my eye on it. If it, I'll I'll try it out. You know, like once we get past COVID, because I'm not putting anybody's headset on my face right now <laughs> with the way COVID is. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you've been challenged. Wow. You have to play Resident Evil Seven. So I got VR. so I got to spend three hundred dollars yeah. just for one game, and then I got to figure out what I'm going to do with that three hundred with that three hundred dollar <laughs> implementation. Master Listen, Ar no, <laughs> you're you're getting you're you're spending three hundred dollars for one game plus Beat Saber because once yeah. you play Beat Saber, yes, I oh no no I played Beat Saber, I have absolute fun with it. So you know what? Yeah, I'll spend uh, an additional forty dollars. <laughs> yeah.